Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Bulldog Assault Rifle that just came out for Battlefield 4 CTE. This is going to be officially released with the Dragon's Teeth DLC. Now in my opinion, the Bulldog is a new contender for one of the most lethal assault rifles in the game. With the Scar H's damage model of 34 maximum and 25 minimum and a 700 round per minute rate of fire, it instantly becomes one of the top four highest damaging guns in the game. The three Three guns that out damage this one are the FAMAS, the CZ-3A1, and the AS Val. Certainly good weapons, but not necessarily the most effective guns at long range. The Bulldog can definitely be an effective long range weapon. Now think about this for a second. The Bulldog actually does more damage per second at any range than the AEK does. The AEK is a very good gun for close quarter and medium range combat. In fact, I would argue that it's one of the better assault rifles in the game, and the Bulldog may manages to out damage it. In a game where DPS is certainly king, you cannot ignore the amount of damage that this weapon is doing. Now in terms of how it performs, it is very similar to a Scar H in many ways. Putting the Scar H and Bulldog stats side by side thanks to SimThick.com, we can see just where the weapons differ. And it's not by much, certainly the Bulldog has a little bit more side to side recoil, its aiming down sight accuracy is not quite as good, and this might be a turn off to some of you who are like, well, if I have a gun that's doing this well, I certainly want to drop people at longer range. Don't worry, 0.25 aiming down sight accuracy is more than enough to deal with long range targets. And if you're really that concerned about it, you can always put a stubby grip on there. You can even use a heavy barrel, although I didn't really find that necessary. Because this weapon has such a high damage output, I didn't really find a stubby grip too necessary. By the time you're on your fifth shot, your target is usually dead. So what I ended up doing is put an angle foregrip on there to really help tame that first shot just a little bit and make sure that my initial burst was all on target. You don't really need to worry about too many of the shots after that. Uh, if you're shooting beyond five or six rounds, chances are you're kind of in a spray or prey situation anyway. Another highly effective way to outfit this weapon is to run it with an ergo grip and laser sight. This will let you run around and shoot from the hip and still do very good damage in close quarters. This being a bullpup weapon has very good hip fire accuracy, one of the major differences between it and the Scar H. So if you like to have that option of a gun that's gonna absolutely decimate in close quarters, and not having to aim down sights, then that is absolutely a perfect way to run this weapon. You're certainly welcome to play around with higher magnification optics than I'm using here, but the vertical recoil is pretty intense and slower rate of fire weapons with high vertical recoil are basically gonna bounce around a lot and make it very hard for you to ADS with higher magnification optics. So I would just recommend red dot sight and making sure that your aim is on for long range targets. You can definitely drop people at extreme ranges with this weapon. The bullet velocity, however, is on the slow side. It's not quite as slow as the Scar H, but just keep that in mind when you're trying to hit moving targets. It's great for taking out stationary targets at long range for moving targets in close quarters. Now, despite the Bulldog being one of the best assault rifles in the game, it also takes a bit of precision and finesse to be good with it. You can't just pick it up like the AK-5C, put whatever attachments you want on there and still do really well with it. It's got a 20 round magazine, which shooting at 700 rounds per minute, you're gonna burn through it very quickly. Don't expect to get more than two kills with a single magazine unless all of your targets are lined up. A fairly long reload time of 2.5 seconds for the short reload and 3.2 for the long reload means that you're gonna have to get very used to switching to your sidearms to deal with close quarter threats. Luckily, there's some pretty awesome new sidearms in the new Dragon's Teeth DLC and now in the CTE version of Battlefield 4, so you can certainly have a bit of fun with the Deagle and the Unica 6. Now, I do have to apologize for all the Operation Locker gameplay. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of servers to pick from when playing for CTE, and at certain times of the day, there's literally only one server populated that I can play in. Unfortunately, it happened to be a 24-7 locker server. I was able to get some good long-range moments with this weapon, but a lot of it really was close quarters, which I would say is certainly not the Bulldog's forte. It can definitely handle itself, but because of that extremely long reload time, generally speaking, I would prefer an assault rifle with a slightly faster reload just because it's much more forgiving when you're running into multiple threats. An interesting little fact about the Bulldog Assault Rifle is that it's built as an M14 platform, just a bullpup version of the M14. The M14 
magazine itself is actually a pretty long rifle. If you look at the M39 EMR in Battlefield 4, that's essentially an M14 that's been customized for use with the US Marine Corps. But it is interesting to notice how EA has given such different damage stats for a weapon that is essentially the same gun platform, just one is intended as a marksman rifle and the other one is intended as a battle rifle. The guns perform completely differently except in real life, the actual platform is very similar. Certainly not a complaint about the weapon balancing in-game, I just think it's interesting to uh, try and figure out the history of some of the weapons. The Bulldog is a very unique looking gun, except it is built on a very old platform. Now to summarize, the Bulldog is without question one of the best assault rifles in the game. However, you have to pick it for the right situations. If you're going up against an endless horde of enemies that are going to be popping out of every which corner, you might want to go with something that's going to reload a little bit faster. If you're going up in a tactical match where you only need to deal with one or two squads of infantry, then the Bulldog is certainly going to lend itself extremely well to the fight because of its extremely high damage model and effectiveness at range not to mention great hipfire accuracy. In a 1v1 situation, the Bulldog, in my opinion, is certainly one of the best weapons out there. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think of the Bulldog. Try it out in CTE, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.